Hi guys, in this video I'll explain how you can visualize a decision tree using Python and GraphWiz library. I'll be using the same tennis example that I've used so far to show how a decision tree works. I'll be posting the GitHub link to the Jupyter Notebook that I've used in the video in the comment section. So without wasting further time, let's get started. First lines of code basically shows the modules that you'll have to import. If they don't exist, then you'll have to install it using pip install and the module name. Next, as you can see, there are uh, two functions defined, which I intend to cover in the later part of the video. The next thing that I do is I read the CSV file. And I see the contents of my CSV file. You have four variables. Outlook, Temperature, Humidity, Windy and your uh, final output variable which is Play. Now as we can see that we have categorical variables and numeric and not numeric variables. Our classifier basically accepts only numeric variables. So now we'll have to convert them to numeric. For Windy column which has values such as true and false. As you can see, Wendy has true and false. The best way to convert such a column into numeric is by using uh, df.columnname.ashtypeint which converts it to zeros and ones. And your uh, play column which is your target variable column has yes or no. For which I have defined the first function to convert yes and no into one and zero. So read the text. If there is a yes in my text, return a 1, otherwise return a 0. So let's see how things shape up after I make such changes. So as you can see now play has become 0, 1 and Wendy has also become 0, 1. For the remaining categorical variables, you will have to use get dummies or one hot encoding to convert them into uh, zeros and ones. After one hot encoding, this is how your data frame looks. Once you have the data frame set, now you have to uh, split your data frame into your uh, x variable and y variable, which is what I've done here. In your x uh, train variable, what I've done is I've considered all rows and the columns whose name is not equal to play. And your y train is basically your target variable, which is your play column. Now, I create a classifier using decision tree classifier with entropy criteria and I fit my x train and y train on that. And now I call the most important function of this video which is plot decision tree and I send in my classifier, my x train columns and my final output column as input to the function. This is how my decision tree looks. Now how does this work is what I'll come to the function part. So what this does is it first creates an empty file dot data using the python string io function. Then you export a decision tree in dot format using the sklearn tree export graphviz library uh, in which you input your classifier, your input feature and your output feature names into the function. Create a graph file using the dot format file created above and then return the graph file as a PNG file and that is what we are able to see in the last part. I am pretty sure uh, you would be saying that this output looks very much different as compared to the previous example that I have taken. So this happens for a simple reason. Here we had to convert our categorical variable into numeric and in the previous example we used the categorical variable as is while calculating the entropy. So that is why there is a difference in your uh, output that you can see in terms of the decision tree that is grown. Uh, hope you like the video. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.